Friday was the last working day for heads of missions, that's ambassadors and high commissioners under the former Free National Movement administration. According to Foreign Affairs and Immigration Minister Fred Mitchell, he's awaiting a confirmed list of potential diplomatic candidates from Prime Minister Perry Christie. Only two Foreign Service members will remain, Paulette Bethel, ambassador and permanent representative of the Bahamas to the United Nations, and Bahamas Consul General to Miami, Rhoda Jackson. Minister Mitchell indicated that the new heads of mission will comprise professional diplomats and political appointments. He verified all offices will remain open with some additions, including a new office in Geneva, Switzerland, to help accelerate our accession to the World Trade Organization. The Christie administration also, also in Chicago, uh, one in Houston and one in Los Angeles to deal with the Bahamian community and Bahamian interests in those uh, cities and, and, and the states, respective states close by. Uh, we think that uh, Kingston will require um, either a high commissioner or a council general within the next year or so. Our present uh, honorary council has indicated that she's stepping down uh, and so a new one will have to be appointed. Uh, we plan also to appoint a, an honorary council in South Africa for Bahamian interests. The Christie administration also anticipates establishing diplomatic ties with Brazil since 40% of our financial services business comes from there. We also expect shortly a visit from the Brazilian foreign minister. Brazil is very much interested in outreach to our country and so there's probably some kind of technical cooperation agreement and hopefully that will allow our students to access their universities on concessionary prices.